Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Will Vlog. Uh, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. It is Saturday the something of July, 6th of July, yeah. Uh, just finished up the park run for the morning. I got about 23 minutes, 16 seconds, something like that. That's my watch time anyway. Uh, it was a nice wet morning today. I say nice. <laughs> uh, very squelchy. My feet aren't loving it that much. This grass and mud is very wet. My feet are gonna hate me. So yeah, for now I'm just doing the vlog video. I'll be doing the proper video, which I'm gonna be doing about park run. Uh, a little bit later today, but I got some footage with my GoPro of the park run. That's the park run back there in the background. So this week my training hasn't been as as good as I would hope. Uh, I said I was going to try and do six out of the seven days doing running. Um, I actually ended up taking two of those days off, so I think it was Wednesday and Friday I didn't do any running. Uh, so, but I did do running today on Saturday and I will definitely be doing a longer run tomorrow. I think it's gonna be about 18k, something like that. I'm following a training plan, which is like a 12 week advanced marathon training plan, which is why I'm running a lot and running somewhat specific distances, especially on the weekend. Uh, it's the Medicare, I think, or Medibank training plan for, I think the Blackmores Marathon. So it works well for me since that's what I'm aiming for is the Blackmores Marathon. So yeah, training hasn't been great, uh, but I am slowly increasing and increasing my load. So when I am doing running, I'm going for longer distances overall, although while still having some days specifically as recovery runs. Um, yeah, so it's been a decent week so far. Still not doing much in the way of cycling and swimming. Uh, for cycling, I just can't be bothered. Um, and swimming, I am still using the excuse that my tattoo is healing and technically I shouldn't be swimming at the moment. Realistically, I could be swimming right now, um, but I just don't enjoy swimming nearly as much as I do. Running is easily my favorite at all three of the sports. So this week, what else happened? Uh, one of the reasons why I'm not running as much as I should be, and I haven't been actually running to work and back this week, is because I got a new car for work. So I got a bit of a promotion at work, and part of that I get now a car lease. So I get a car every two years. Um, so got my new car on Wednesday, which is awesome. It's a Mazda 6, so really luxurious. Oh, it's so much better than my old car. But yeah, so I've been driving that a lot more than I should be. Uh, but once I get over the novelty factor of the car, I'll start running a bit more. So one thing I've been finding out firsthand, again, and I found this out before, is when you go back to minimalist shoe running, so I've been running a lot in the Vibram Five Fingers and uh, Kung Fu Slippers, so practically nothing. When you go back to that sort of running, you've really got to watch out for your muscles and ankles, especially the Achilles and the calf muscle. Uh, because you're landing a lot more forefoot, midfoot, that means that your calf is taking a lot more of the load and it's going through the Achilles. So you've got to make sure that you warm up appropriately every single time. Um, after anywhere between say 500 meters to 1.5 K somewhere in that zone I try and stretch so I do some very specific stretches I'll do um, where I lean up against a wall and stretch the back so down the Achilles and the calf and the back of the leg um, I also do one where I kind of point flex point flex and then rotate the um, foot in one direction and the other direction so I'll point Flex, point, flex, rotate, certain amount of times, rotate the other direction a certain amount of times, and then keep going, keep going. And that really definitely helps with um, soreness, especially the day after, because if you don't do that, you will get very sore legs, you'll get sore calves, you'll get sore Achilles, and uh, that will stop you from training if you don't remedy it. So make sure you do that every time if you're doing any sort of minimalist running. Make sure you warm up and stretch and then warm down and do a warm down stretch as well. That can also really help. Um, it's one of the great things I've got at my work is a stand up desk. So when I get into work, if I've done a run just before I start work, I can go to my stand up desk and no one looks at me funny while I'm stretching at my desk or maybe they do. They probably still do, but that doesn't matter. Um, 
yeah, I'm using the stand-up desk as a chance to do all my stretches because I can stand and stretch while still working. So yeah, as I said a little bit earlier on, there will be a video coming out later today or this week at some point about Park Run um, and about sort of how you can use Park Run uh, to your advantage in learning how to do a race. So, because Park Run is a free race every week. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you have an awesome week. Uh, if you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.